J. Cole's album. Let's talk about it. You listen to it? You listen to it? Yeah. That's good. Good. I've got good. Apple Music. I'm allowed to say that. I'm about it. So yeah, yeah, Apple Music. I, I got Apple, Apple music. music. Yeah, big up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where do we start? The beginning. The cover. Eh? Yeah, you cover. can start with the cover. Start the way cover. he released it, you know, the way the way that he dropped it was good, in my opinion. And he's even got a little thing on there that says like a notice disclaimer that this does not. Yeah, there's a no way to glorify to drug use or whatever yeah. Add- addiction. Don't get this pulled down, you know. Hey, but we're going to talk about it now. We'll play it quite late, innit? Yeah, man. So J. Cole drops a new album. We've said many times in here that J. Cole's boring. We have okay. said that. You've said it as well. I don't know like that. I did like no, that. He dropped some, dro- drop, drop some boring tunes. I didn't say he was boring. Okay, it's changed quote with the change okay. with the oh, I said he was talented, but I said no, la- no, the it's... last album was just like poor. J. Cole's very talented. J. Cole can rap well. Beats ain't too bad. I just, I can't... Does he produce as well? Well, yeah, yeah. yeah I think so. he does it all himself. Yeah, that's No features and all that kind yeah, of stuff. I just can't really understand why his songs don't really have that much replay value. Which like, ones? Just, okay, it's, it's, as an album on a whole, I don't really I don't really run to J. Cole's... Like, like Forest Souls Drive, I, I could listen to that a few times. The last album, I didn't want to listen to it. What about this one? You know what? Okay, I, I don't even because tweet I saw you tweet something. I pulled it on the first time, I was washing up. In the, straight out of the kitchen. He loves washing dishes. I know. He's all, every time I message him, he's like, I'm "Just in the kitchen." Yeah, man's gonna Sad. keep cleaning it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So I was washing up, had the album on, and I was like, "Yo, this is this is big still." Like the album. There was so, oh, I had it on this morning. There was yeah? big that tracks. was just the shock of new music. Nah, nah, not even because he was like. I can tell it was because he didn't like it the second time. He well, I, I did not like the it the second way. time, but it was just. He didn't feel the same way. It was a, it was a bit different the second time. I played so, that whole album about four times. So how did you feel? Shit. I like it all. Every single track. Yes, yeah, different, Mac. Different, Yeezy Mac. Different environment, I want to call it. Yeah, give me a gunshot, man. <laughs> give me a gunshot. Yeezy Mac, I like this album. Yeah. There you go. Uh, let, oh, me, let, me read some, let me read some of the tweets that our, our good friend Yeezy Mac was dropping yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, yeah. I was, it, was, it, was, it was nine o'clock, I didn't even listen to the album. And he's trying to sway my mind. And I was like, could it be so? And Yeezy dropped... A hell of a lot of bars right there. Where is he? Where is he? Yeezy Ving. <laughs> Anyhow, you sound like a fan. He's not. He's. he's no, no, it's been on the. It's been on the show still. Yeah. Where is he? Where is he? Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> he <super> says, <laughs> "J Cole should have called this album." Yo, yo. <laughs> Yay! Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> How are you going to phone me on WhatsApp missing you, from? What? <laughs> <laughs> what the wackiest one of them all, bro. <laughs> phone me on, make this, this is real, fam. Phone me on the iPhone. I could, uh, let me know it's real, fam. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, basically. Try to save the bill. WhatsApp called him. <laughs> Where is he? All right, then. All right, yo, so we're just... Adrian just about to read some of your tweets, though, because obviously you've been spewing some um, J. Cole hatred. <laughs> OK. Hold so on. Yeah, you can hear me. Say that again. Well, yo, yo, can you hear us? I can hear you. I can't hear Adrian. All right. Yo, fam, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. All right. Your first one says, J. Cole should have called his album K.O.D.T. You damn straight. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, this 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 album, yeah. If, if there was the war ceremony for the trashiest album of the year, you know what? You you win the award for the trashiest album of the century, yeah. Because the album is trash. No, you know what? I'm bringing it too much. It's not it's not trash still. It's not trash. You know what Thank annoys you. me? You know what annoys me? What annoys me about it is people are so safe in where they are, and I feel as though he's not he's not he's not adventurous at all. I know he makes his beat. Yeah. yeah, I know that he wants to call. He he tries to do everything, even in terms of the features on the, the album right now. They they're basically here, so they're basically taking yeah. the piss. But I don't I don't like people who like to just stay in their safe zone. This, 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 oh, no, 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 this is a bit right, different. Right, 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 this one's a bit different. Yeah, yeah, yesterday, yeah, I said, yo, J Cole is on a different level, different vibe. This album, he's doing rapper, he's rappers rap. It won't be enjoyed by all, but the guys who appreciate who appreciate the far side and guys like of that vein will appreciate mm-hmm. it. He's dropping my gems in there too. Well, let me finish. Many won't get it. And then Yeezy replied, yeah, many won't get it because they're asleep. 
listening to their library bedtime tunes. <laughs> yeah, because one of them is hell, man. Listen, you can play that. You can play that album full blast from the library. No one's saying. You've heard ATM in it. I've heard ATM. And you've heard- I, I like the, and the other thing is the video helped it a lot because first time I heard the track, I didn't really like it. It was just one of the ones where it, I didn't, it just played. I wasn't kind of listening to it. Listen, listen to it with the AM, um, the video, and I thought, okay, then. Let me go back and listen to it again. I thought, yeah, you know, I feel it a bit more. But you can't, you again, can't, you can't listen to ATM and then feel like that sounds like any other J. Cole song. You know, it doesn't sound like any other J. Cole song. You know what I think? When I first heard this album, when I first pressed play and I heard the first track, I thought, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of a, it reminds me of a bit of Dam in the sense of, with, with Kendrick, I know he's a type of person, he doesn't, he doesn't follow the norm, he does, he makes music that like he likes, he gets yeah. similar to J. Cole, and I feel like on Dam, he made a couple of tracks, um, the, the, the tracks I'm talking about is DNA and Humble, which were kind of like going with the sound that is now in terms of it, it, it had the flow of everything that was kind of popular, yeah. in a sense. And I feel like when I heard, when I heard, um, KL, when I heard the first track on KLD, I thought, okay, that sounds like Jay Cole trying to do that kind of, and we, we've clocked out already now that he, he's kind of aiming, aiming it at um, kind of rappers who are doing it now, trying to kind of show it a bit that he can do it, what they're doing. But he can do it, and, and it's a bit better, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and I feel yeah. like I thought, yeah, the, the whole album's gonna be like that. But again, it, I felt like it was still a bit safe, if you know what I mean. And I mean that more with the more with the instrumentals than the bars. I feel like the bars, obviously, they're they're, they're very conscious in terms of in talking about um, drugs and, and what's going on with the scene and all the other things as well with cheating and different different kind of subjects. But again, it just felt very safe, and he didn't feel like I didn't feel like he tried to. Be experimental with the, the instrumentals that he's used. But don't you think like J Cole fans like that about J Cole? J Cole's got no, his sound. Yeah, that's very true. That is very true. Hundred percent. I think that this is there's, there's um, artists who make music for their fan base and that's it. Yeah. Um, and I feel as though for them, they're, they're hardcore fans. They'll just they'll eat this up and they'll love it. Um, for me, um, what, similar to the, the the tweet that I kind of quoted you in the other day, J Cole for me is just one play and that's it. Like, I ain't gonna listen to this album again. Yeah. Like, if you hear me, if I listen to this album again, more than likely it's because I've accidentally dropped on my phone and <laughs> I'll kick on the J. Cole thing and I'm gonna be like, oh, and I can't be bothered to just listen to this track. But yeah. I ain't gonna listen to this again. Yeah. Is it, is it also because he kept dissing Kanye? Mate, mm-mm. <laughs> why? Why? We still, listen, at the end of the day, you can't, listen, you can't say, you can't say, yeah, that, like, what's it called, you're, this man's your idol, you've grown up listening to him. And rarely, rarely stand you that. And then you start running down because he's doing something you don't really like. At the end of the day, yeah, he's involved as a person. You ain't. The only yeah, thing you've got is like that. like that. That's what you've got now. <laughs> yeah. So don't take disrespect. Don't take disrespect, can't you? You're coming out, fam. You're coming out. Listen, at the end of the day, they call the fucking like things to you. You get me? Kanye looking fresh as fuck. Yeah. Find way out of my Yeah, looking like he's a fucking boy song of what they called of his cousin. Don't ever try to just cut air again. I'm clowning her. It's boring. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fam. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me vexed now, still. You know what? I'm fully vexed. That's cool, man. Just, G- just G- me. June first, in the moment. June first. Sure. June first when the fire's coming out. June first. I hope Kanye sends him on every single track and says call him a bitch and every single track they do. Singing punk. <laughs> June 1st when the fire drops, and then June 8th when the fire drops too. Yeah? <laughs> the gods, man. Like, Fuck you talking about, uh, Jay yeah, called your name back, Jermaine. Listen, nobody cares about Jermaine yeah. coming back. Okay, nobody cares about June 1st. When the king's back, fam, the gods back, yeah? The god of the whole universe is back on this king, yeah? Uh, Easy right. forever, yeah? yeah. All right, then. Yeah. Bless. We got, fam, we got, we got, we got. Wow. Yeah, holiday, huh? Yeah, but like, it's a lie. Anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, you got a bit. Say, I knew that. Fashion. That was his trigger point, you know. I said it yesterday on Twitter. I said, "Yo, is it because he did Kanye?" And he got me the eyes. Uh, to be fair, if you like old school '90s rap, it may not be the DMXs and whatever. I'm talking like the Far Side. Tribe, Tribe Called Quest. Tribe Called yeah, Quest yeah, yeah. People. Yo, you appreciate the album. And realistically, 
hats off to him because he's addressing a lot of things that people I think it a yeah. lot. It's just I really like him. Um, brackets. Yeah, brackets. Yeah, he's saying, yeah. Things that saying people, a lot, man. Yeah. yeah, he's saying a lot, and the the mass like people who are gonna be mollied off the heads. They're not gonna like. Yeah, it. they don't. Yeah. Need it. You know, I liked as well about this album. Obviously, it's the theme is drugs and addiction. Mm. But the money talk, mm. because J. Cole's talking like it's almost like shaming rappers for spending a lot. And obviously, he's not the first or the only one to do it, but it's just good to know that. It's refreshing. Yeah, mm. it's like, oh, why are you, spend, why are you buying this? It's, I think he said something about, oh, you go broke and all you got is a Bentley Bet, kind of yeah. thing. And mm, yeah. Bentley's devalue, you know what yeah. I mean? So I'm just thinking, yeah, man. He like, like, says, um, yeah, he says, when you, when you have got a place to live and you spend too much money on that Benz. Mm. And it's like, it's true. Mm. You know what I mean? Because a house will, a house will appreciate. A car de- depreciates. Mm. And even um, some of the the Kevin's Heart, the Kevin Kevin's Heart yeah, track, mm. wordplay is serious. No, see, that's the thing with J. Cole. J. Cole wordplay is talented, is man. Serious. Yeah, and he's For some deep reason, as well. But I don't run to listen to J. Cole. And I feel like it's J. Cole one of the ones where is just for his fans kind of thing like his fan base like you know Drake's gonna appeal to the many yeah mm. Kendrick appeals to almost like an in between but well, you got Kendrick. to understand in my many. opinion <laughs> in my opinion J. Cole is effective in that way he can't be like a Drake because if he was like a Drake he wouldn't be effective in what he's saying because mm. the mass world don't want to accept what he's saying that's what I'm saying so he's making music for his he's base got, isn't the it? thing is his base is growing now because more people are starting to question and think about and talk yeah, yeah, yeah. about mm. the things that he's talking about so really it's almost like he's he's doing it for a specific market it might just be his market but that market's growing because those people who are woke even if they're the fake away people, hmm. <laughs> even if it's their ones, then they are still listening the to the ones this kind that are in 101, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing up their foot to the camera. <laughs> ah! And then the day after, sitting there saying, ah, oh, look at this person. Shouldn't be talking to da 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 da. Yeah. There's no way eating this. Da, da, da. Shut up. <laughs> you can't be awake in 101. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's what he's doing. He's making it so that there's something for those people who are asking those kind of questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the man that like, ordered like, the, the bottles coming out. <laughs> Let me. Man just got his phone out constantly. <laughs> <laughs> the bottles for me. <laughs> <laughs> Behave, son. Behave. He does one track about his mum as well. Yes. About her addiction. That's yeah, deep. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Jay Cole, Jay Cole, well, He's well, coming out from angles. Yeah, and that's why give you it that appeals track. to... The last track on the last album was sick. I don't care mm-hmm. how, say, poor the album was or whatever. Yeah. The last track on yeah. For Your Eyes Only, deep. Yeah. And this one as well, talking about his mum and that. Jay Cole will give you a, some strong tunes, mm-hmm. you know. I feel like I just don't run to listen to his music and I, I, I don't... But then you listen to all oh, my friends are dead. Mm. So sad. So she's saying, who like are you, you were to, just saying who that. Are you to judge anyone that you listen to Lil Uzi. <laughs> you listen to Lil Uzi. I don't, know, I don't oh, listen to Joe. I don't listen to Joe. It's a different no, kind of. changing his story now. <laughs> no, oh, look at him, changing his story. <laughs> it's that, same dude. It appeals to a certain type. It, it appeals to people who like a certain type of music, oh, or gosh. people who think in a certain type of way, because it may not be all that relevant than what's going on right now but people who are conscious they're listening to more than just no but i mean like you can listen to loads of different styles of music but like <laughs> well, to be fair the people that are listening to all my friends are dead they ain't watching the news <laughs> yeah. what's going on in the world <laughs> Do, i don't you watch the me? news they ain't watching nothing they, they're I not aware the of anything they're not ha- they're not I aware of the like the real things that are happening that jack Cole's talking about it'd be like what what's he talking about i don't know what you're talking about Come off my head <laughs> <laughs> something about syria True. Carry on, bro. Go on. I think I think I said all my point. Did you have anything else to say about that? Um, I think that the track at the end that people said ain't it low pump. Did he oh, do it on four twenty yeah. for a specific reason as well? Yeah. Yeah, because it's drug themed. Yeah, I know, but is that like? Did he say I'm doing? No, mm, I think it was just. Simple. It was one of the sub subliminals. Subliminals. Mm. You know what I mean, just but for if you know. He's strategic marketing. Yeah, mm. strategic marketing. I think. The trap at the end does say a lot because even if it is or isn't to low pump, I don't care because he's decided to take it upon himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And realistically, 
what Carl's saying is right because these kids are following guys like him. Mm. And it's like, yo, you just, you just, you just, like, you just making the folly to a massive, I think like, that's pit of demise. Yeah, like, yeah. what's the intention there? What's like, the intention what are you trying to know? do? And it's like, even in the, in the ATM video, yo, sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just because, yeah, I love Buster and he brought back the beatdown show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was good <laughs> And it's a situation that, He's shown, yo, what people will do for money. And, yo, he's saying, yeah, you... <laughs> and he pulls up his arm and his leg. <laughs> yeah, he pulls yeah, his arm yeah, and his leg yeah. for the car. Yeah. And it's like, yo, at the end of the day, yeah, yes, everyone needs it to live, yeah, but when you're dead, you can't take it with you. Mm. Done. You, you know, um, yeah, the, um, the diss track as well. Yeah. It's not even a diss track. It's, it's not, not a diss track. track. It's just talking. It's talking. And it's like, that's if you are going to diss someone, that's the best. Just, you just sun them, like, yeah. yo, like... It's even said that I like some of your songs and that kind yeah. of stuff, but you do and you just spoke to them. And to be honest, I mean, I didn't expect any better from him, but if Lil Pump's just going to be like, oh, but Jay Cole, and he's just like, man, you didn't listen to the song, yes. did you? You didn't listen to the song. It's more, it, to be honest, no, it's yeah. more education than a dish. Jay Cole's been like that anyway, because he did that track when he felt like he let Nas down. Yo, what's good, what's good, what's good? The Hard Food Podcast. Back again. My name is Juice English. Jackson King. And make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click these videos that might be popping up. Press Probably that button on. that should be down here. Somewhere. And just enjoy what you're listening to and watching. Get involved. Comment. Say what you want. I don't take it to heart. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's all good to me. But yeah, subscribe, follow, press the videos wherever they are, and enjoy. Bless up. Big up.